Our forces in the Dutch East Indies have taken a heavy blow as our heavy cruiser Mogami was sunk on February 17, 1942. Luckily for us, reinforcements have rapidly arrived into the theater. Heavy cruiser Takao is now on station in the theater and will operate with Kema 1. Despite our losses, we are still in a very strong position. Our forces are currently marching across Celebes, and before the end of February, the island will be entirely under our control. Additionally, the Allies have very few warships to muster against us now. The next order of business will be to build up airfields on Borneo and Celebes before landing troops on Timor and then later Java. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back to another exciting episode of War on the Sea as we continue our Dutch East Indies campaign. As you can see, our offensive is going rather well. We are capturing base after base. The Allies only have two bases here on the southern end of Celebes, then we will move on toward Java. That being said, there's an Allied task force which last night landed some troops near Balik Papin, and now we have intercepted with Bettys and Mavises. Uh, they haven't done a whole lot over here. There's just a slither of allied troops left. So um, whatever they landed was not really effective. Who knows what it was. That being said, let's go to tactical and see what's going on over here. We have our Bettys. Each Betty is carrying a 800 kilogram bomb. And I'm going to have this force, first formation get risky with it and drop down to the deck. You guys go target number two, level bomb it. All right, yeah, let's, let's try to skip bomb one of these big cruisers up here. Probably number two, because that's the closest. Hello. Yeah, that's one of the light cruisers, Dutch light cruiser. All right, keep dropping down to the deck. We have our Mavis's way over here as well, which may be able to help. have break form up we have the other two go this way all right there we go split them up come here come left for this one this formation is just going to drag flak a little bit circle around all right here we go racing in our other aircraft are going to level bomb. I don't want to risk as many Bettys. So that's why only one formation of four is. Come here. All right, and I'll drop. Bombs away, have fun. Okay, well, my plane exploded. Mine was shot down there. Both were shot down, okay. Hey, caused some issues there. Bombers, level bombing the target. There we go, near hits there. That's kind of why I wanted to try to skip bomb. All right, these two Bettys come in for the second one. And come up 40 meters just to avoid the masts. Okay, form up here. That ship is not looking good. Line of breast formation. Race in there, 40 meters, going for the other light cruiser. I wanna just inflict as much damage as possible. Definitely caused a lot of problems there for her. Anti-aircraft guns are shooting. What are our defensive gunners shooting at? Oh, there's a little allied float plane over there. All right. That ship's taking on lots of water. Bob and weave, bob and weave. We have both selected. The drop all button ready. Okay, line up. Bombs away. Okay, right, lost one. There we go. Bomb hit on her. And we lost both of those Bettys, but you know what? It may have been worth it. Okay, two light cruisers hit pretty bad. This one took a direct bomb hit. This one took a bomb hit, a couple of bomb hits actually, and she's listing heavily. Debating, we'll wait with our Mavises and see. Let's have them start dropping down to the deck. 
my formation of Bettys way up here. Oh my gosh, we lost a lot of Bettys <laughs> doing that. Even the level bombing Bettys, we lost two of. Not good. Let's check on the report. Heavy damage, heavy flooding. All right. We'll send our Mavises in to try to finish this one off. Okay, our Mavises are closing in on the crippled target. She is burning and listing heavily to port. She has heavy damage, heavy flooding, so we are going to drop six torpedoes, and hopefully it's enough to send her to the bottom. She's also rather isolated from the rest of the formation. So that way our Mavises may be able to get out of here without all being shot to ribbons. We'll see though, closing quickly on the target here. Anti-aircraft's going up on them, and man, they're such large, large aircraft. Closing in. We also have our main task force closing in on the area as well, so we will be able to engage on the surface relatively soon. All right, let's see. Torpedoes away. There we go, torpedoes away. Gosh, that's absolutely perfect. Okay, lost one, lost two. Get out of there. Let's see. Oh my gosh, four impacts. Did all six hit? Oh my gosh, they sure did. Not a single dud, she is now sinking. There we go. Well, here we go. One ship sunk, one moderately damaged. We sent 12 aircraft. Unfortunately, we lost eight, but that is all right. There we go. These aircraft are going to RTB now. And let's see. The rest of the situation is we have some troop transports moving more troops to McCaskar there. Fuyo 4 is moving troops and supply yeah, fuel over to Banjamasen. And this task force up here, manage cargo, take on more troops, just all the troops you can. And we are going to move you down to McCaskar as well. This is the one where we're really outnumbered over here at Kandari. We are doing well. Ambon, we are doing well. Serang, we captured them. And the same thing happened here at Banjamasen at that happened at Serang. The allies just withdrew. Uh, from that port, which probably was smart, but this episode I really want to consolidate and get our airfields up to scratch. Well, this isn't good. Looks like troops are allied troops are being landed at Ambon. Not much I can do about that right now in the middle of the night. Uh, hopefully, they don't have that many troops. We're gonna find out here. Or are they gonna maybe just one merchant ship? What are they doing? Peculiar. Okay, regardless, Task Force 12, unload all of your cargo. We have a bunch of fuel on the ship. That one wasn't carrying any fuel. Okay, get out of here. Head up here. And Balak Poppin. Okay, what I need at this base now is engineering, which we have on the way. Yep, we have a bunch of engineering and supply on the way. Uh, we took some of that from... Well, pretty much everything from Davo up here. So how long is it going to be for this task force to get down here? Uh, 50 or so hours. That is going to be a while. Kama 1 is going to continue to patrol the McCaskar Strait just to make sure no allied task forces are able to sneak up on us. Well, this is not a good development. We have maybe one light cruiser, two destroyers moving towards our poor defenseless freighters. Not a whole lot in terms of aircraft. I can send this way. Let's actually, you know what, send some nails down here, 2.9 hours. Hopefully these guys go in a straight line, run away. How long will it take for Mikuma and company? Seven hours. Uh-oh. That ain't gonna be good. Our freighters may get intercepted here. And yeah, we're probably going to lose them. Another allied, more allied aircraft coming in. Kama one's racing as fast as she can. Nels, a oh, shoot. Begin. Start. Begin length smoke. Let's get let's initiate the retreat, see if we can get out of here. What are we looking at? Where are they? Way back here. 
One little light cruiser. Okay. We're going to pump smoke and disengage. Doesn't look like they're even shooting at us. We'll see what we can make happen here. Okay, we managed to escape and our nails are now on station. It looks like we've been engaged once again. Let's go back to tactical here. We also have a peat in the area. Let's do a quick scan. Yep, ships. Okay, they are close. Nels, how many of you are there? Six of you. All right, drop down. Let's get ready to fight for our lives here. You two begin laying some smoke. We'll drop our torpedoes. I'm thinking one for each destroyer, three for this little light cruiser. Yeah. And I don't know if one torpedo will be enough for each destroyer. We are going to find out, though. This formation, keep dropping down to the deck. This formation, drop down to the deck, but circle, please. Yeah, just circle. Yeah, hopefully that'll be enough. The... How far are freighters being shot at? How far is she? 14 kilometers out. A little close. <laughs> a little close for comfort, indeed. This Clemson is a worrying destroyer. It's probably the most effective enemy destroyer here. I may engage her. I don't think these freighters here have any... They do have defensive guns. Look at that. And we can fight it out. All right, the Clemson and the cruiser, obviously primary targets. This Admiralty S, I'm not nearly as worried about. So I'm thinking three, two on the Clemson, one on the Admiralty S. That is if all of our torpedo bombers make it through. First formation of Nels is engaging, it's commencing the attack. I'm gonna have number three here break. You target the Clemson. Engage that Clemson, please. So two are going for the light cruiser, one for the Clemson here. The other formation is going to attack from the port side of the targets. Come around like this, please. All right, looking good. Hopefully we can drop our torpedo. It looks like the enemy is still sailing in a straight line. They aren't conducting very many evasive maneuvers. Taking a lot of anti-aircraft fire from that light cruiser, though. There we go. Torpedo away. There we go. Torpedoes away. All right. Get out of there, boys. Lost one, unfortunately. Lost two. Both going for the light cruiser. Her anti-aircraft complement is uh, quite good. All right. One hit. Right in the screws. Oh, my gosh. Both missed. Torpedoes missed. Engaging the Clemson as well. All right. Go hit the cruiser. Nice formation. What an unfortunate drop. Just rotten, rotten luck there. All right, come get her. Obviously, since we missed, uh, we're redirecting. All three bombers are going to engage the light cruiser. Then we'll try to disengage from the battle and hopefully... Hopefully, my heavy cruiser will be able to make it here in time. If not, we'll lose these two freighters. Not the end of the world, but not great. All right, come on, boys. Don't drop too late this time. Okay, torpedoes away. Torpedoes in the water. Get out of here. That looks better. All right, they're all smoking. Come on. At least one. Maybe two. Looks like just one. Amidships. Okay. Wow. Well, that wasn't great. <laughs> oh, what a shame. What a shame. Let's check on our freighters. How are they doing over here? Oh, not good. Keep fighting it out, I suppose. Okay, we managed to leave the combat area with minor damage, moderate damage on one of our ships.
continue. Come on, Task Force. You got this. Look at these. This Mavis is in the area. Come on, get out of there, ships. Get out of there. Okay, we've been re-engaged. Begin. Start. You are not looking very good. Where's our Mavis? Where are the enemy? Oh, they're way out there. We'll be able to disengage easily. Start popping smoke. I'm going to have our Mavis go... Hmm, do I even want her to go in? Yeah, we'll have her go in. Come and hit that cruiser. Drop down. Our Mavis is lined up nicely, making the torpedo run on the target. We are going to... Yeah, we're already going to max speed here. Hopefully, we can hit number two with two torpedoes, taking a lot of anti-aircraft fire. Whatever this is, is throwing up lots of AA. Quite intimidating. Hopefully she'll be able to make it through and we can get two more torpedo hits. That should slow them down significantly, allowing our cruisers to engage. I don't understand what this torpedo bomber's doing. Okay. Uh, those look all right, I guess. Actually, no, they really don't. They look horrible. I'm kind of... Well, they got shot down, so I guess we'll get new pilots, but what what the heck is that? <laughs> okay, well, we are going to disengage. I think Kama-1 has intercepted them. We are going to find out. Go to tactical. Start. Let's see what we're up against. And there we go. We have something. What is it? Look at it. Is it our cruiser friends? Yep, that is three ships closing in on us. And we have these coming in as well, which is less than ideal. Takao, turn south. Turn south. Get all of our guns to bear on Trump. Also, our anti-aircraft guns should engage these guys. Hopefully they're relatively easy targets. It looks like they're just carrying a bunch of tiny little bombs. Shouldn't be too much of an issue here. Destroyers are engaging as well. Perfect. The cow. What are your solutions at 56%? I want you to spot. Don't waste too much ammunition here. The enemy aircraft are starting to get close to our formation, starting to take some sporadic anti-aircraft fire here. Looks like they are primarily going for Takao. Doesn't look like any of our anti-aircraft guns are getting too close. Let's see what they drop. Okay, bombs away. Looks like they're each dropping six bombs here. Okay, we got one. Shot an aircraft down. We have two more formations coming in. Okay, we were hit. Damage control. Flooding. Alright. Get that repaired. Everything else is okay. Only one compartment was damaged. We have another formation coming in. It looks like it is going for Mikuma. Come on, shoot him down. Two aircraft smoking. Have fuel leaks. Alright, they're all dropping their bombs though, unfortunately. See how effective they are. This is why I need to get some of these air bases near us up and operational. Oof. Ouch. Okay, that caused heavy damage on Mikuma. Begin repairs. This formation is going for a destroyer. Okay. Start breaking. Increase speed. Wow, poor Mikuma. She is just getting battered. We will send her home soon. Okay, they've lost another aircraft. Dropped a whole bunch of bombs on our destroyer here. Invasive maneuvers. Dual purpose guns are tracking. Ooh, boy. Dodged them. Good work. Good work, indeed. Okay, slow back up. Get back into formation. Okay, how's our cruiser friend looking? Uh, she looks fine. 
Looks like we don't have any hits. We're now at a 90% solution. No need to spot. Open fire. Fire at will. We are continuing to engage the targets. Good news though, all the fires on Mikuma have been put out. Solution is now rising, although there's no smoke blowing over the deck. It does not look like Tromp has, oh, okay, spoke too soon. It looks like she just got hit. She is billowing smoke. Doesn't look like there's a fire on the actual deck itself though. This Clemson class is continuing to close. Everything but the heavy cruisers is engaging that Clemson. Now it looks like Kind of looks like she may be trying to lay smoke here. It's very, very hard to tell at this point. Now, let's go to Takao. Her gunnery is quite a bit more accurate here. Or it was, 64%. We'll keep firing full spreads. Continue to engage. It does look like the enemy is trying to evade a little bit. Zig and zag. Switch up their formation. We are going to maintain our current course to keep our solution up. If we change course, it will reduce our solution. But we're in a pretty good spot. The T is crossed. All of our guns can bear on the target. I, it's kind of iffy if Tromp's rear gun can actually engage us. I cannot tell at this point, but just all the splashes over there. My goodness. We keep bracketing them, just not getting lucky critical hits. The Admiralty S-Glass has gotten pretty close, so our destroyers are starting to engage them. We are slightly changing course as well. The Clemson's now in the rear. Trump is taking on some serious water. She is not looking good. The Clemson is undamaged. Admiralty S is on fire. Not looking too great. I'm actually going to have... Hmm. They are spotting... Don't spot anymore. Fire high explosive, full spreads that way. Yeah, I don't really want to spot. Let's just start sending rounds down towards that Admiral TS and hopefully sink her before she's able to launch torpedoes. Well, Trump is not looking good at all. She's pretty much dead in the water. I'm going to have these other ships cease fire and stop engaging the destroyers. They're all running away. Uh, it's really not worth engaging if they are just going to run away. If this Clemson closes in... Okay, you know what? Have to Cal shoot at that Clemson real quick. Shoot high explosive at her. Yeah, shoot HE full spreads. Trump sinking. Light cruiser down. Let's see if we can get anything on this light cruiser. Solutions climbing rapidly, 60%. The Admiralty S, yeah, it's just running away, so I'm not too concerned about it. All right, let's try to crack this Clemson class open. Mikuma, you can engage her as well too. Yeah, there we go. 80% solution, fantastic. Fire, fire, fire. Yeah, we sink one light cruiser, one destroyer. I feel pretty good. We've taken pretty much no damage. The only thing that even remotely hurt us was those bombs that landed on top of Mikuma. Now, Takao, what's your solution? 63%. It's dropping a little bit because of the smoke. Secondaries are opening fire on the target as well. Let's go narrow patterns. Fire. There we go. Salvo out. I mean, that, those are all looking pretty darn close. The Clemson has realized her mistake and is now deploying smoke. Admiral TS, looks like she recovered. That fire's no longer burning. No use engaging, really, at this point. Just keep sending rounds towards that Clemson as quickly as possible.
The Clemson here has heavy damage, heavy flooding. We are going to hold fire. Hold fire. Don't fire anymore. Save our ammunition. We've already used way more ammunition here than I would have wanted. But hold fire. Okay. We are going to disengage. And hopefully she will be scuttled. Yeah, I think that is probably what's going... Okay. She's sinking. There we go. Didn't even have to worry about it. The Admiral TS is way out there. We're going to let her go. Because, again, don't want to waste the ammo on just a destroyer. But one cruiser, one Clemson class sunk. Here we go, after action report, three command points gained for that, Admiral TS escaped, and we did see a convoy heading towards this base here, so we are going to move out and investigate that. Now, I'm gonna protect that base from anything landing over there. Uh, what the actual heck? Five ships near Kuching, what are they doing? They're just coming up the coast of Borneo. I do not like that. Maybe one cruiser? Uh, that's really far away. And we may be able to bomb them in the morning. I have no idea what they were doing. <laughs> that is mildly concerning. I'm still going to protect here. Actually, let's have Kama 1 sortie out just a bit. And I keep doing that. Let me remove these. This convoy up here, Huyo 1, is waiting for our weekly resupply. Okay, everyone else seems to be going where I want them to go, relatively. But yeah, wow, what a weird spotting uh, of an enemy task force way up there. Well, folks, some good news. We have unloaded troops at McCaskar here. We now have 7,405 troops here. Over here at Kandari, it is almost under our control. Also, we could not detect that allied task force sailing down the coast of Borneo, so who knows where it ran off to. Um, not really a huge worry at this point, though. Things are going rather well, really just waiting for the start of the week so we can get our command points. This task force, which is carrying engineering and supply, is almost here, and this will allow us to start getting some aircraft, which are much needed, much needed indeed. Well, folks, that is going to do it for today's episode. I do hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment, as it really does help out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I'll see you all on the next one.